Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, prove that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Use the above. Prove the following. In given figure, DE is parallel to BC and BD is equal to CE. Prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So let's start the solution. Now we are given a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points. So we are given a triangle ABC in which a line parallel to side BC intersects the other two sides AB and AC at D and E respectively. So we can write given a triangle ABC in which a line parallel to side BC intersects other two sides AB and AC at D and E respectively. Now we have to prove that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. That is we have to prove AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. Now let us join BE and CG and then draw a perpendicular from D on AC and a perpendicular from E on AB. So we can write join BE and CG and then draw DM perpendicular on AC and EN perpendicular AB. Now, area of triangle ADE is given by 1 over 2 into base into height. That is, area of triangle ADE is equal to 1 over 2 into base AD into height EN. Similarly, area of triangle BDE is equal to 1 over 2 into base DB into height EN. Again, area of triangle ADE can be written as 1 over 2 into base AE into height DM and area of triangle DEC is equal to 1 over 2 into base EC into height DM. Therefore, area of 
ट्राइंगल ए डी ई ओवर एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बी डी ई इज इक्वल टू नाउ एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इंटू ए डी इंटू ई एन एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बी डी ई इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इंटू डी बी इंटू ई एन देर फोर एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बी डी ई इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इंटू ए डी इंटू ई एन ओवर वन ओवर टू डी बी इंटू ई एन एंड दिस इज फर्दर इक्वल टू ए डी ओवर डी बी लेट एस गिव दिस एज नंबर वन दैट इज वी हैव एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल बी डी ई इज इक्वल टू ए डी ओवर डी बी अगेन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल डी ई सी इज इक्वल टू नाउ एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई इज इक्वल टू हाफ ए ई इंटू डी एन एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल डी ई सी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ई सी इंटू डी एन सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी ई अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल डी ई सी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ए ई इंटू डी एम ओवर हाफ ई सी इंटू डी एम एंड दिस इज फर्दर इक्वल टू ए ई ओवर ई सी Let us give this as number two. Now here we observe that triangle BDE and triangle DEC are on the same base DE and between the same parallels BC and DE. So area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle DEC. so we can write since triangle bge and dec are on the same base de and between the same parallels bc and de so area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle dec let us give this as number 3 now from one we have area of triangle ade upon area of triangle bde is equal to ad over db and from two we have area of triangle ade upon area of triangle dec is equal to ae upon ec and from three we have area of triangle bge is equal to area of triangle dec therefore from 1 2 and 3 we have ad over db is equal to ae over ec hence we have proved that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points the other two sides are divided in the same ratio now by using this result again we have to prove in given figure de is parallel to bc and bd is equal to ce we have to prove that triangle abc is an isosceles triangle so in given figure we have 
DE is parallel to BC and BD is equal to CE. So, therefore, by using above result, we have AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. But we are given BD is equal to CE. Therefore, AD over DB is equal to AE over DB. Or we can say AD is equal to AE. Let us give this as number 4 and this as number 5. So, on adding 4 and 5, we get BD plus AD is equal to CE plus AE. Or AB is equal to AC. Now we know that if any two sides of a triangle are equal, then it is an isosceles triangle. So in triangle ABC, we have AB is equal to AC. Hence, triangle ABC is an Isosceles triangle. Hence, we had proved the above question. This completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.